Hello everyone, my name is Krujane Sasayo, finalist M2 of Mrs. Malaysia International Global 2022 Be Brave, Stop Bullying. Today, I have the honor of sharing with you regarding a very meaningful and beautiful event and the best part is you can be a part of it. Let me introduce to you Art for Rare, a charity event brought to you by Mrs. Malaysia International Global 2022 and Friend in Arts with a purpose to raise awareness regarding rare diseases, also known as RD. This charity event is also for the purpose of raising funds to provide and support education and enablement programs that teaches persons living with rare diseases to create and sell their artwork. Now, some of you may wonder, what is rare disease? Rare disease is used to identify illnesses that affect a small percentage of the world's population. There are approximately 7,000 diseases worldwide and about 3.5% to 5.9% of the population is affected by rare disease. And there are about 300 million people living with rare diseases worldwide. And now let me share this with you. On June 12, 2022, me and my pageant sisters had the amazing opportunity and the greatest fun having an Art Jam session event with our PLWRD friends. That day, we were all partnered with one PLWRD friend and it was an amazing, inspiring, and meaningful event. That Art Jam session event, Art for Rare, was organized and led by MMIG, Friend in Arts, along with our amazing sponsors and everyone behind the scenes that helped make that day super successful and super inspiring. And the most exciting thing was, prior to the event, each finalist had the chance to pick blindly who their PLWRD friend is going to be to partner with them for the Art for Rare Art Jam session. And I fatally picked Colleen Faith, who is such a beautiful and amazing, inspiring lady that painted this beautiful piece with me that we both titled Warrior Queen Faith. That beautiful moment shared with Colleen Faith during the Art Jam session really impacted my life and really inspired me. It was so beautiful that while we were doing this painting, we were able to have a great conversation, sharing our experiences and life challenges, and also learning from each other's stories. Yes, the lives of our PLWRT friends can be very challenging, but also very inspiring and empowering. Just by being a part of this charity event, Art for Rare, has been an amazing, beautiful, meaningful, and life-changing experience for me. Not only did it educate me and help me become aware of rare diseases, but it has also inspired me to encourage you, to invite you to become a part of this purposeful and meaningful event that we may be able to help our PLWRD friends. That through art, we will be able to create, share, inspire, and help them. I'd like to take this moment to say thank you for watching this video and for taking the time to listen. Once again, my name is Krujane Salsayo, finalist M2 of Mrs. Malaysia International Global 2022. And on behalf of everyone involved and being a part of this event, I'd like to say thank you for your love and support. God bless your hearts. Much love and thanks from MMIG and Friend in Art. To those who would like to help raise funds for this event, please be sure to check the captions and the description box for the info of the accounts that you can send your love gift or to donate an amount. Please be informed that all funds raised will be credited to people living with rare diseases. Let us all continue to give love, support one another, help one another, and share our blessings. Thank you.
A bevy of beauty queens spent a day recently painting with 16 people living with rare diseases to create awareness, promote inclusivity, and raise funds for art activities. The art jamming session called Art for Rare was a collaboration between Mrs. Malaysia International Global 2022 and Friendin Arts, a social enterprise that provides opportunities for people living with rare diseases. Mrs. Malaysia International 2019 Melinda Koo, who is also the MMIG 2022 National Director, says she chose to support the cause because the issue was close to her heart. As a mother who had a child with Hirschsprung disease, Koo said she knows how the families would feel when their child was diagnosed with a rare disease. Rare disease doesn't define who they are actually, you know, because they are the kids, they are perfectly happily, happy and uh, all mums are, well, I mean, I'm sure the parents are very happy that we are blessed with this special child. All they need is a supportive uh, from the society, inclusivity, but not pity. We want them to have their own skills to survive, their own skills to fend for themselves. That is why we want to create more awareness so that in hope there will be more opportunity for the public um, given to this particular person that is living with a rare disease group. Ku said she also wants to create more awareness on rare diseases so there will be more research and medical budget allocated to the group. Friendin Arts founder Yap Suk Yi said there were about 7,000 types of rare diseases affecting some 300 million people worldwide. Organizers would really like people to know more about rare diseases, what it is, how it affects the family because 72% of the cause of rare disease is genetic, which means either the father and mother or the mother carry the, uh, the defective genes and pass it down. And there is also other deletions in the chromosomes that can cause rare diseases. So if you suspect that your child has a lot of uh, some illnesses and it really can't be diagnosed, ask the doctor this question, could it be a rare disease? She said Brandon Arts was initially founded to help her son Brandon Lim, who has spinal muscular atrophy, have a platform to sell his artworks. Seeing her son's artwork being bought and the potential in tapping the creative juices from people living with rare diseases, Yap said they were inspired to set up an art lab to develop creativity and art skill in these children. The 15 finalists will be using the completed paintings to raise funds until August 15th. The paintings are now being sold through the Friendin Arts website. Proceeds will be used to fund art activities for people living with rare diseases.